We got the Todd Father with us. Todd Frazier, man, thanks for hopping on the feed. Are you um, ready to check out some of your top social media posts? I can't wait, this is awesome. First one, this is your very first reel, man. You got the moves, huh? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I did, my daughter wanted me to do this. This one, these new reel things were coming out. The outfit choice was just horrendous. I think I was getting ready for bed. God almighty, look at me go. <laughs> Dude, the song's super catchy too. Yeah, yeah, I got I got some good hits there. I, I got some moves there, I'll take it. All yeah. red, I don't know why I'm wearing red socks, red everything. Dude, oh, it's, your another, it's your dancing outfit. And another red, <laughs> gem. got a little robot going here. This is one I was feeling myself here a little bit. Team USA hat, just having some fun. My wife's looking at me in the back going, what are you doing? I remember like that was yesterday. Yeah, and you know what? She's actually got some dancing background herself. Oh, yes. Oh yes, this is recent. She was a gymnast, so she's like, come on, just hold me up. We tried everything we could to do it, and eventually we did, we just couldn't finish it. So, lot, I got I got my, uh, what are those called? Long johns on too, it was a cold <laughs> night. Unbelievable, I guess the air conditioning was on, I don't know. I love the stretching that you're doing too, Dory. Oh, you're my like, back oh. Was, I, my back was tightening up. Wait, so what was going on through your head? And also too, like, as you're doing these reels, because we see yeah. you all over social yeah. media, and you do a great job of sticking up with the trends, but like, I just didn't want her head to hit mine. Like if we bumped heads, like I wouldn't be here right now. So I, I would have stitches. She's a gymnast and um, she's like, we gotta do this. I'm like, all right, whatever. Whatever you wanna do, whatever makes you happy. All right, you guys also yeah. put it together really well when it comes to the Halloween. Dude, this is a pretty sweet outfit, man. Yeah, yeah, my wife Jackie came up with this one. Um, I look pretty uh, intense there, you know, a little scary. Put the little fake uh, teeth there. My wife looks great as always, doesn't matter what she wears. So we, we put on a good show. That was at our house. Nice little party at the house. We got Jeter's jersey over there, if you could see it. Oh, nice. Yeah, looking fresh. Next, uh, you're talking yeah. memorabilia. Dude, I know you have a sweet basement or, or, or batting cage yeah. area, but the hallway going to it is probably one of the... Yeah, that's my favorite thing. Uh, I, I collect, everybody has a collection. You know, I, people like bats, like ball sign, like batting gloves. I was big on cleats, so game used or not, I have some really cool collection. I have over, I think I have 55, 56 total cleats. Some are mine that I love. There are somebody wow. made for me, and most of them are other people, you know, from um, CC Sabathia to David Wright to my first one ever, Ichiro Suzuki. So, oh, some dude. pretty cool ones, yeah. Dude, talk about a collection, man. So, yeah. what's your favorite one out of all of them? I would have to say Ichiro, just because they told me, they said, listen, any, anything Ichiro wants, you got to write him a letter. So, wrote him a letter. I came and saw him in the outfield before stretch because we like to stretch early. He said, Todd, one of the best letters I ever got. And you know, that meant a lot to me. What a good guy. Yeah, I try. <laughs> Next, all right, our boy, Nikki Cash. Uh, you guys did a fun challenge in that batting cage area yes. of the house, and it was pretty sweet, man. Yeah, we had to knock down a big cup, uh, metal cup, and uh, we got really close sometimes, and then he eventually hit it. And the next swing I took, I hit it the next time. I, we couldn't make it up, you saw a reaction. Nicky Koss, man, he's all over with Nicky <laughs> Media, uh, and he's hysterical. And we, I love him to death because he makes me feel younger, and he's a young dude, so uh, he's out there doing big things. I'm proud of him. So if you're missing around the house, yeah. does Jack and the family, do, do they know to come look for you? Oh, of course. The... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's either there or I'm at a baseball field somewhere. Which, there you go, perfect yeah, segue. big dog. You're at a baseball field, the Blakester. Yes, he's having a good year this year. He's finally coming into his own a little bit, getting his feet under him. We've been working, you know, and he hit it inside the Parker, over the outfielder's head, his first ever inside the Parker at nine years old, and a uh, smile on his face made it all that better for me. So, proud of him, proud of the team. Our team Southsiders, man, we won our last two tournaments, qualified for the playoffs and for USABL. But nine new boys are getting after in Jersey. Watch out. And you got some cool jerseys, too. If you yes. guys haven't seen the jerseys yet, you got to check out his page. You're <laughs> probably pulling up some pictures right now, but no the jerseys doubt. are sweet. No doubt. Thank you. So you're a great dad, and you're yes. also uh, a great coach, <laughs> too, man. Check out that shot. He made man. a buzzer beater there. He just chucked it. with all. The, he has no power. Look, we went up 10-9, I think it was. Uh, we ended up winning that game, too, which is great. So I was happy him. I said, Blake, I said, shoot it, shoot it. Scream. <laughs> yeah. Basically hooked it from his hip to his shoulder and went in, uh, you can't make that up. So between coaching and being a parent yourself, because you're doing a lot of stuff as a dad that you get to do now that the yeah. playing days are done, but I guess what would be one of your biggest pieces of advice to parents who are out there now that you're experiencing yeah. it and you had a big league career, you know what I mean? Be patient. Patience is the biggest thing, because your son or daughter's gonna fail. It's hard because you know you, you feel like as an adult and as somebody who's been through sports, I never did anything wrong when that wasn't the case. I always did a lot of things wrong and now, the pressures of your son or daughter, understand they're gonna fail, be patient with it. You know, constructive criticism is great, but always focus on 
afterwards, hey man, great job anyway. We're gonna keep working on it. Make sure they come out with a smile on their face. Dude, love it. Appreciate Hope it. everybody listened to that right there. And dude, oh, yes. our boy Christian Kane, the Kane yeah, family, amazing it. family, yes. special moment. Yeah, this is, uh, I work with uh, the Field of Dreams, Christian Kane right there is his, uh, the father of Gavin. They had a, a very bad car accident uh, five or six years ago. I've worked with him and raised a lot of money for the Field of Dreams which with kids uh, from ages two to 21 with special needs that could come out. There's a baseball field, there's a mini golf field, there's two playgrounds, basketball court, so they have some time to have some fun. And, and he got his football moment, and now they get to have their big league moment at the Field of Dreams. Also special, got the cheers, and you had yes. even got Thank Rutgers there too as well. Yes, where you went to school. Yes. You even got a beer too that yes. that, that went uh, that had proceeds yes. go towards this, All which is awesome yep. too. Without a doubt. Well, yeah, trying yeah. to raise as much money as we can, for sure. Yes, sir. All right, and here you uh, are. I, Your I, very I first right, Instagram yeah. post, man, <laughs> in a Yankees awesome. uniform. That's awesome. I, uh, one of my, I think that was my first home run. Uh, many people don't know, every time I round a third, I tip my cap to my cousin who passed away at an early age. She was like a sister to me, my cousin Kim. So I give her a little love and uh, that's, a, that's hanging in my, my house because everybody knows that. So it's pretty cool, memorable, emotional one for me. Dude, this is amazing. All right, so we see you here now at Yes and you're on the Yes app and you're broadcasting the games in, during the pregame show. What would you say is your favorite part about social media and interacting with all the fans? Because we see a lot of these posts online yeah. and they're awesome. Yeah, I think the comments. I like the people. I, I rocked the suit the other day. Where'd you yeah. get it? Or, you know, look and fly, like all that stuff. I like the good and the bad. You know, some people, you're going to get your mixture. And I don't mind the people coming after me about a comment or a picture. Like, what are you doing? This and that. You know, sometimes I like to keep them informed. Like, listen, this is why I did it. And then all of a sudden they shut up. Or yeah, just, just seeing the, the comments, what people write. I think that's pretty cool. And for everybody watching too, if they haven't followed you just yet, what can people expect and watch as they come to your page and shoot you a follow? Yeah, for me, for family, a lot of family pictures, uh, sporting events, um, my wife doing some funny things, uh, her workout routines, and me just being a goofball, just acting like a kid, man. I hope it put a smile on some people's faces. That's right, man. Well, now's the time for the plug. Where should everybody follow you? Twitter, Instagram, let everybody know. Yeah, all the same. Flavor Phrase, F-L-A-V-A-F-R-A-Z-2-1. And uh, give me a follow, give me a shout. You know, give me some good, bad, I don't mind. I'm from Jersey, I got thick skin, so we're all right. <laughs> My man, all right, the brother. top father. Thanks Thank for having me brother. Thank you.